10 tips for a successful tier one entrepreneur visa extension application. Point number one, prepare your tier one entrepreneur visa extension early. The date that your visa expires is the deadline for when you must either apply to extend your visa or leave the UK. Your application can be submitted 28 days before your visa expiry or within 14 days of its expiration. We advise that you begin to prepare at least three months before the expiry date of your visa so that you have the time necessary to remedy any gaps in your documentary evidence. The most sensible way to prepare would be to instruct legal help when your visa is initially granted so you can consult your legal team when making business decisions. This way, the immigration rules will be considered alongside the business's needs. Tip number two, keep documents for your tier one entrepreneur visa extension application as you go. In order to show that you are a genuine entrepreneur, it is mandatory to include evidence of what your business has been doing since you first entered the tier one entrepreneur visa category. For example, invoices, emails to show trade and a business lease. Additionally, you need to show the creation of jobs and suitable investment of funds. If you save the documents in an organized file as they are created and received, this will make the preparation of your extension stress-free and efficient. Tip number three, do your sums for your tier one entrepreneur visa extension application. The amount that needs to be invested can vary depending on if you have purchased an existing business and paid towards the goodwill. Goodwill is the cost of taking an existing business that already holds value. For example, if you pay £50,000 for a business, you are likely to need to invest £250,000 into the business instead of £200,000. You also need to employ two additional workers for at least 30 hours per week. If you have purchased an existing business with staff already employed, you will need to hire a further two people in addition to those that currently work for the company. These examples show why doing your sums early will help you to meet the requirements without a last minute panic to the finish line. Tip number four, make sure your accountant knows what you need. Your accountant will play a pivotal role in the extension of your visa application. They will need to produce RTIs and pay slips and unaudited accounts to show the investment has taken place in accordance with the immigration rules. They will also help prepare other mandatory documents it is therefore advised that you get your legal team on board in advance of instructing your accountant so the two teams can liaise and discuss your case together. This will allow for your application to be submitted efficiently and smoothly. Tip number five, remember the maintenance fund requirement. Whilst you're running your business, it may slip your mind that you still need to satisfy the maintenance requirement when extending your visa. It is therefore important that you understand the amount that must be held and the duration that it must be held for. The funds can vary and change year on year, so we advise that you speak to your lawyers to seek confirmation of the latest up-to-date figures. However, the number of days that the money must be held will remain as 90 days. So if you feel that your account may fall below a certain figure in those 90 days, we advise that you open a separate account and hold the funds here so then it does not fall below the minimum balance. Tip number six, check how much notice your bank will need. The Home Office have strict requirements in the format of which they expect documents to be sent to them in. Each bank has its own process on how they deliver those documents and the format that they will be delivered in. We advise clients to contact their bank well in advance so they understand what format they will come in and how long it will take to procure the documents needed for your extension. Tip number seven, consider any travel abroad before applying to extend your tier one entrepreneur visa. You should not make travel plans until your visa is successfully granted. The super priority service that had previously allowed for same day appointments for tier one entrepreneur extensions no longer exists. And so your application for an extension must be submitted by post. If you leave the UK whilst your application remains pending in law, your application would be treated as withdrawn. You may not then be allowed to re-enter the UK if this were to happen. Make travel plans only when you have a valid visa to re-enter the UK. If you decide to take the risk and travel, if your passport is stamped with a visitor's visa, this will be treated as replacing your tier one entrepreneur visa, 
which would be catastrophic as you would no longer have the permission to run your company. Be safe and don't book travel abroad, no matter how badly you want to sit on the beach and soak the sun. Tip number eight, think about your route to settlement. When applying for your extension, you must also consider whether you may be eligible to apply for indefinite leave to remain, also known as settlement. If you have been able to turn over five million pounds in the first three years of your visa, or have employed 10 settled workers, you can go straight to indefinite leave to remain. Tip number nine, check your documents meet the specified evidence requirements. The immigration rules require specified documents to prove that you have met the substantive requirements of the rules. If you fail to meet one of these requirements, your visa will be refused. Some examples of the documents that are mandatory include real-time information, known as RTIs, and these are required from your accountant audited or unaudited accounts to show that you have invested at least £200,000. Again, these documents will come from your accountant. And evidence to show that your business has genuinely been trading. If you require a comprehensive list of documents needed for your visa extension, you are welcome to contact one of our lawyers today for a free, no obligation discussion. Tip number 10. Present your Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa Extension application professionally. Your paperwork should be in a logical order and cover all aspects of the rules. If presented clearly, the decision maker should have an easier time in assessing the satisfaction of the immigration rules. If you make it so they have more work to do, they may make the wrong decision or take extra time. If you begin to prepare early, you will have enough time to prepare your file well.